Ah, so we are to solve another problem pertaining um, pressure gauges, which specifically, specifically uh, manometer. No, so here's a, here is a sample problem number four. Uh, you will understand much better the pressure concepts and problems um, after solving this one. So the water in a tank is pressured uh, by air and the pressure is measured by a multi-fluid manometer as shown. So the tank is located on a mountain top at an altitude of 1,500 meters where the atmospheric pressure is 90 kilopascal. So you are asked to determine the air pressure in the tank. So we are given um, the height, each one here. No, the, the height difference between the water and the mercury, um, height two, height difference between the I sorry no oil, height difference between the water and the oil, and then similarly the oil with respect to the mercury H two, and then H three is 0.4 to this one. No, so take the densities of water, oil, and mercury, and um. 1,000 kilogram meter cube, 850 kilogram meter cube, and then the mercury is 13,600 kilogram meter cube uh, respectively. So we are to ask the air pressure in this one. Uh, the concept is similar to our uh, past problem, although we will be uh, computing a much uh, complex equation to this one and forming much uh, long equation. No? So with regards to this principle, we are to take the following. No? So as we have said, let's start with this one. Since we are solving for the atmo, oh, uh, um, we are to ask to solve for the pressure in air. Actually, you can start your uh, solution from this point two up to this one. No? But considering the plus and minus sign of the um, factor rho GH to that. No? So with this one, uh, in this example, we will start at the pressure at the air and then after that, we will be uh, transposing the equation to the other side. No? As we have said uh, to this one, so pressure air, as you can see here, so the height of this one is in this portion and uh, if you want to measure the height to this uh, uh, of oil, we are going downwards, no? And then we have said that as we go downward, the pressure increases. So the reason is that, so um, that explains the positive sign of this factor. So the density of water, since we are going downward with respect to the oil, is actually plus sign, no? So the density of oil multiplied by the gravity and the height, which is H1. And then similarly, we are in this point also, and then going downward again, so that explains the positive sign. The pressure is increasing to that part and going to the mercury part under uh, H2 height. And then you can see here the difference. From this point, we are going upward. No? So that explains the negative part on this equation. No? So uh, the pressure is decreasing by a factor of rho GH. And uh, finally, we'll equate uh, the last part with our P2 or the pressure of the atmosphere, atmospheric pressure. And then uh, just manipulating the formulas and then, sub and then uh, multi uh, transposing to the other side and then factoring out the G. And then as simple as substituting the uh, the values that we have gained on the problem, um, just understood that uh, just understand that uh, when you go down, you should the sign should be positive, and when you go up, the sign should be negative. No, so substituting the values that we have the, on the given problem. And then, of course, here is the um, conversion factor to solve the uh, problem. No? So we need to convert it through uh, Pascal, kilopascal, all of them uh, for, uh, for, uh, for the unit um, for, for in order for us to have the same units. No? So I'm, uh, substituting this one derives to this one and then uh, with respect to uh, with respect to this one, no? Um, here is the conversion factor. So uh, plus plus going downward, no, a uh, negative going upward, and then just this part is um, algebra. Then this one is the uh, conversion factor to convert uh, it from kilopascal. No? So an, our answer on the problem is 138.6 kilopascal. Actually, you can experiment. And then you could actually start from this one and then 
the the answer is and then equate finally not in p atmosphere but in terms of p uh, air no so you could um, do that one in the for our last subtopic for under fluid mechanics part one uh, I, I no so under buoyancy we have archimedes principle so when a body is completely or partially uh, immersed in a fluid the fluid exerts an upward force on the body equal to the weight of the fluid dispersed so here's the buoyancy force equal to the uh, weight of the fluid uh, displaced no so um, a body is actually immersed in water which seems to weightless when it is on uh, air no so uh, an example for buoyancy is uh, when a balloon floats uh, in equilibrium it in air. So actually, its weight, including the gas inside it, uh, must be the same as the weight uh, of the air displaced by the uh, balloon. So a ship made of steel, which is much denser than water, can float because the ship is actually hollow with an air occupying much of its interior volume. So its average density is less than, uh, than of water. So... Also, uh, it explains that when we swim uh, under sea water, our body floats uh, higher in uh, fresh water also. No? Next one, a sample problem to explain the buoyancy. So here is a 10 kilogram solid uh, gold statue is raised uh, from sea bottom as shown below. Now, what is the tension in hoisting uh, cable? So we have to find the tension on this cable uh, when the statue is at rest and completely underwater and at rest and completely out of the uh, out of the water. So uh, drawing the free body diagram, the tension for the um, cable, here is the buoyancy force B and the weight of our statue. No. So first things first is actually to compute for the volume and then a volume can be computed by mass divided by the density and uh, the, this density of gold is actually on our table a while back. Now 10, divided, 10 kilogram divided by 19.3 times 10 to the 3 kilogram per meter cube is equivalent to 5.18 times 10 to the negative 4 meter uh, cube. And then... Um, um, since we said that the buoyancy force is equivalent to the weight no, displaced, so we can now equate this one uh, uh, due to Archimedes' princ uh, principle, so mass times gravity, and then also uh, the um, mass is equivalent to uh, the um, density multiplied by the volume that we have computed a while back. And then computing for the buoyancy force equivalent to 5.23 uh, newton. No? And then um, <clears throat> to this one, um, summation of forces along the y-axis. So the buoyancy force is added. So uh, positive going upward and then downward is negative. No? So summation forces. So since it is the arrow is on the upward direction plus and then the tension is upward plus and then this one is negative, equating that one and then substituting uh, um, our uh, buoyancy force, uh, we can now solve for the tension uh, of the tension of the cable. No? So the tension of the cable is equivalent to 92.77 Newton. That is under seawater. No? So um, while it is on air, no, we can compute the buoyancy under air is equivalent to the density of the air multiplied by the volume multiplied by the gravity also no however the density of air is much uh, less than the density of the gold itself no so you can see the difference 19.3 times 10 to the 3 and compared to this one 1.2 kilogram per meter cube so upon computation for the buoyancy force and then you can see that uh, 6.1 times 10 to the negative 3 newton is much uh, less than um, 92 or no it's much less than this one um it's much less than this one no so the buoyancy comparing the buoyancy no so it could be neglected no so we uh 
uh, although you can actually solve by using uh, again uh, summation of forces however you would arrive at exactly um somehow similar to that one no? so summation of forces you can do that um the buoyancy of air plus the tension of the air minus the mass negative of mass uh, statue multiplied by gravity you would actually do that by substituting 6.1 on this equation no uh in um not 5.23 no so uh, however we can see that it is negligible so we can uh, say that the uh, tension uh with respect to the air no, so the statue is on the air no so we can actually cancel that out or neglect that one and then most likely it is sim same no uh, when you try to solve it using summation of forces and substituting this one most likely it will arrive at 98 uh, 98 newton no so that's for uh, buoyancy force the main uh, the main concept is that this one no so the buoyancy force is actually equal to the weight this place so so this equation would aid you um through through solving it so for uh, last topic is surface tension uh, surface tension could be defined as the property of a surface of a liquid that allows it to resist no, an external force due to the cohesive, cohesive nature of water. So are there, there are actually two primary mechanisms in play here. So one is the inward force on the surface molecules causing the liquid to contract. And the second one is the tangential force parallel to the surface of the liquid. So the net effect is the liquid behaves as if the surface was covered with stretched uh, elastic mem membrane. So surface tension explains uh, why raindrops are spherical, not a uh, teardrop shape, and surface tension allows insects, uh, usually denser than water, to float and slide on the water surface. So uh, that ends for the our second part is actually fluid flow, Bernoulli's equation, uh, viscosity, and turbulence. No? So we have discussed uh, principles of uh, gas, uh, gases, liquids, and densities. So we have said that the fluid is actually any uh, substance that can flow and change the shape of the volume that it occupies. So while solid tends to maintain its uh, shape. So we have talked also about density wherein we have said that density is a measure of mass per volume. Then we have said that the specific gravity of a material is actually the ratio of the density to its density of water which is under 4 degrees celsius no so we have the also defined the concept of pressure and pressure is actually defined as a normal force uh, per unit area also we have discussed about atmospheric pressure which is also known as barometric pressure which is the pressure uh, of the atmosphere no? so we have also note about absolute pressure which is it is the sum of the gauge pressure and atmospheric pressure where in the gauge pressure is the pressure relative to the atmospheric pressure and then their buoyancy, uh, we have discussed about uh, uh, Archimedes' principle. It states that uh, when a body is actually completely or partially emerged no, or in a fluid, so the fluid exerts an upward force on the body which is equal to the weight of the fluid uh, displaced by the body. Also under it, we have discussed surface tension wherein it is a property of the liquid that allow, um, that allows to resist external force due to the cohesive nature of the uh, water molecules. So we have solved uh, related problems with both of the or with all of the problems. No? And practice we have here the lesson and activities. So to grasp a concept, you will be asked to find or um, uh, discuss this one so in hot air ballooning uh, so a large balloon is filled with air heated by a gas burner at the bottom so why must the air be heated so how does the balloon is control uh, the ascent and descent no? number two uh, here is the uh, problems no for so solution so you purchase a rectangular piece of metal has a dimension of 5 times 5 by 15 by 30 mm and has a mass of 2 times 10 to the negative 2 
uh, kilogram. So the seller tells you that the metal is gold. So to check this, you compute the average density of the piece, uh, what value you get, uh, where you uh, cheated. So um, uh, simple as getting the density and comparing it the, uh, on the density of the gold. So number three, so for the hydraulic lift as shown, so what must be the ratio of the diameter of the vessel at the car to the diameter of the vessel where the force F is applied so that a 1,600 a kilogram car can be lifted with the force F of the of just one uh, 130 newton. So uh, using the principle of Pascal's, can we calculate it? Uh, find for the um, uh, manipulate the equation for Pascal. And uh, with this one. Um, Actually, we have the same problem uh, on the example problem. However, we have the uh, just manipulated it. So um, it, now the given is air pressure. So we have a uh, pressure here, air pressure here, and we are asked to find for the atmospheric here. Now, so you could actually start uh, uh, your solution proper from this portion, or you could actually start with this portion. Now, so the main principle is that so for example we start at uh, this portion no so you can see from this point no from this point we are going downward so that the sign convention is th that should be positive and from this point we are going upward so since the pressure um while you go upward no decreases so that will become negative and then similarly we go upward that will become negative no depending on your equation no on your on what you are is to do no so uh, the main is just to determine the atmospheric pressure to this one and then <clears throat> the given is the air pressure and the heights of course the density this is given for oil mercury and uh, water and uh, the last problem is that a rock has a mass of 1.8 kilogram so when the rock is suspended from the lower end of the string and totally immersed in water uh, the tension in the string is 12.8 newton so what is the smallest density uh, in a liquid in which the rock will float so computation for the buoyancy under buoyancy no in relation to density so kindly review that one so uh, this formally ends our presentation for today